hello. It is only eight o'clock in the morning. We've already had a bad morning. Um, it's a long story, but basically when we sell our puppies, they all have breeding endorsements. We have terms on our contracts about how to get those endorsements lifted. We will never remove endorsements off um, unis, deafs and blue eyes, regardless. When it comes to girls, they need to be over two. Um, and there are a couple of other little things we like people to do. But under no circumstance, like I said, unless they're unis, deafs, blue eyes, will we not remove those endorsements because we want people, when they breed, to breed for the right reasons, to do the right thing by their dogs. And unregistered dogs just fuel the wrong sort of market. So we've discovered that a patched girl from Lily's first litter has had a litter from a stud dog owner who claims to be very responsible, yet allowed her dog to cover a endorsed bitch. Um, and then one of the puppies from this litter is now in welfare. And then we get tagged in the inevitable Facebook post because at the minute when Dalmatians end up in any welfare, people share it on the Dalmatian groups on Facebook to try and get this dog a home quicker. We get tagged because the dam was bred by us. And we're like, I knew instantly which dam it was. We've had this since confirmed that it is. And then it turns out it's her second litter. She is two and a half, which would mean that she's had a litter when she was younger than two. And it's her second unregistered litter. But if this breeder had waited until she was two and came to us, we would have removed the endorsement and she could have had a registered litter. But it sounds like she wanted to capitalize on the lockdown prices to have had two litters already. Um, and I just, I wish checks were done, one, by the stud dog owner. If she's as responsible as she claims she is, she should have done the checks herself. Um, but two, like, the people who are buying these puppies, if the dam is registered and the sire is registered, why isn't the litter registered? Can I have a look at the dam's paperwork? Because if they'd looked at the dam's paperwork, it would have said she's endorsed. You know, if the dam is younger than two, why are you buying these puppies? Oh, it just... It really frustrates me. And then for, like, other people to know that the dam was a half Werner bred girl then like was this person trying to trade and sell puppies off of our name do you know what I mean like that's part of the trouble when you've got a bit of a name is people will try and trade off of it um And, you know, if she'd have done it through the right channels and then wanted to trade off our name, fine. But we certainly would not ever condone, agree with this type of breeding. Ever. Period. And, you know, now this seven-month-old puppy is in welfare. Like, where's this woman was so quick to earn a quick buck off these dogs why can't she just stand by that puppy and take him back 
find him another home, not let him be in welfare. You know, it just, people, people just disgust me. You know, look at Aria, right? She will be two in October. For my calculations to be correct, she would have already have had a litter if she'd have been owned by this woman. Now, is she mature enough? You know, is she really? Dad, where are you going? And she isn't like to have had, by our calculations, this litter would have been born about a month. The second litter would have been born about a month after her second birthday. So that would mean it was at least six months before that, that she would have had her first litter. And just look at like how Arya has and is maturing coming into years between one and two both physically and mentally she was not ready to have a litter at, I don't know 13, 14 months old you know there is a reason why we say why we recommend waiting until they're two to have a litter It's, it's really annoyed me, really upset me because we're not one of those kennels, one of those breeders who say you can never breed from our dogs. But in this situation, this woman would have done that anyway because it was an unregistered litter. But we, we open it up to say you can breed if you wait until they're two, if you do something with the dog, if you can prove it's healthy, um, good temperament, if you make the right stud dog choice, because that's another part of our contract. Um, you know, you can breed, but we couldn't have stopped this woman from doing it because it's an unregistered litter. And that's the tough thing, is once you sell these dogs, you lose control. The only control you do have is their endorsements. Babes, what's this? Good girl, pretty girl, pretty girl, pretty girl. You know, that is your only, our only form of control. But it's not, it cannot control an unregistered litter. But that's the frustrating thing. It's not that this girl was a uni so we'd never lift the endorsement she didn't have a blue eye so we'd never lift the endorsement she could have waited but yeah anyway this is this is the news we are waking up to today and it's really annoying because as well now like a load of our friends who've seen this post seen the fact that we've been tagged that the bitch was bred by us are like tagging us, messaging us, and it's like, yeah, we know we we can't do anything about it. We try contacting the owner. Um, I suspected something might happen with this particular owner because she wouldn't accept me on Facebook, my ad on Facebook. I've messaged her quite a few times. She just ignores me, and you know, just messaging to check in. That's all. But it's obviously because she. Just wants to breed endless litters with no responsibility. So yeah, Sarah's just pulling in. So I'm going to leave this video here and I shall see you all soon. Bye. Go on in, nanny number two. I'm filming. It's not really puppy until you've taken it to pet their home in a trolley, is it? She's off a dumb bike.
Anything else on there that's good? No, I haven't tried. Yeah, but it's down to 53 because it's damaged. wonder if you still get 10% off with it when it's damaged. You get 10% off your first shop as well if you want to buy. I got three bags delivered today, which is really painful. Huh. What toys can we get for Phoebes? It's a bit crap, isn't it? Yeah, go around. Yeah. <coughs> you want fries? Zebra. We haven't had a zebra before. What oh, the? Oh, that's a better toy. Is that a better toy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's for you. Good girl. Right, I got tag toys. I quite like to get them things that they and chew on a bit, you know. There's puppies, particularly. It's a bit weird, that is, isn't it? Oh, all right. Since they banned Dudley from toys, like soft toys, they last forever. Yeah, I don't buy anything with stuff in them. Oh, the gun dog likes the gun dog toy. What a point today. Wouldn't that be cool if you pointed in your trolley? We'll get you a duck, is it? We like ducks. You notice how much the cooling stuff is. Shot duck well, no, but how much more of it there is. You seen those have? You put cable in there, and it's like it's not a ball, so it's a lot harder to roll and move around. Slow down now. Walk off. We haven't even decided if Phoebe's gonna have a Dalmatian collar to fit in. Should we? Spots. Well, because she hasn't got spots. She has got spots. Shopping hard work, Phoebes. Yeah, it is. Oh, is your hard work? I got you toys. You got a zebra and a ducky. Oh, and I've got a collar. It's got a little fairy pretty on you. We haven't even gone to the treat aisle yet. That's quite good, five for four pound. The treats. Huh? 
Yeah, don't swear now. The Wainwright treats are good too. We like them. Joe Pod don't really like salmon flavoured things. Because I don't eat that. Dudley goes mental for fish flavour stuff. It's crazy though, isn't it? Oh. Oh, you need a giant giraffe and your life is bigger than you. The size of it, huh? Same for the size, isn't it? Why are you buying crickets? Am I buying crickets? No, I want to eat them, do you? Hungry? That's just intrigued by the noise, that's hmm? She weird, I know, Phoebs. I agree. I know. 